Ground beef is a staple in countless kitchens, it's versatile, tasty, and it doesn't take long to turn it into dinner. Ever take, say, lasagna out of the freezer in the morning, only to feel like anything but lasagna by dinnertime? Not a problem with ground beef. Take that out, and your options are still wide open. Burgers, tacos, meatloaf, chili. Woody Harrelson is known for his many lovable personalities, Hollywood's wildest wild child, a raw foodist and eco-crusader and Iraq war protester and marijuana legalization champion, as Esquire put it. Whatever you want. But just because we use something all the time, that doesn't mean we're not making any mistakes with it. It's easy to just sort of fall into the same old habits, and if you've been holding onto those habits for years, well, there might just be a better way of doing things. And when it comes to food, those better ways might just make your dinners tastier, your leftovers better, and your food a little bit safer. The Academy Award-nominated actor can play goofy, macho, and frightening all in the same scene. His big break came when we joined the cast of Cheers, which GQ called what might just be the greatest sitcom of all time and one of the most perfect TV shows ever. Harrelson went on to win an Emmy for this supporting role and became a regular in the entertainment industry. So, let's talk about common mistakes we make with ground beef, and how to fix them. You're packaging it wrong when you freeze it ground beef is one of those things that's always handy to have around, and it's always good to keep some in the freezer. As of 2020, he has over 100 acting credits, via IMDb. After a relocation to Hawaii, the Zombieland star became close buddies with his neighbor and fellow mellow lover, Willie Nelson. But Harrelson's life was never just sunsets and piña coladas. But if you're just putting those trays right into the freezer from your grocery bags, we hate to break it to you, but you're doing it wrong. We have a few tips that won't just make thawing your ground beef easier, but it'll help you save precious room in your freezer, too. First, you should absolutely repackage the ground beef in freezer bags. When you do, you should flatten your portion out as much as you can, that's not just a space saver, it's also going to get rid of air pockets that can cause freezer burn, and it'll help the meat defrost faster when you take it out to use it. And here's a neat little trick, take something with a long, straight edge, and press a series of divisions into your flattened ground beef. That way, if you're just craving a single burger or want to whip up a small bit of taco meat for your nachos, you can easily break off that small portion, and not have to worry about thawing and using the whole thing. Pretty neat, right? You're not looking for the right signs of spoiling some bad meat can ruin your evening, so how can you tell if your ground beef has gone bad? Surprisingly, it might not be in the way you think. Do you check the color as an indicator of spoilage? That can sort of work, as we found. But, sort of not. If you break apart your hunk of ground beef and the inside looks a little grayish brown, that's completely normal. That bright red color we associate with fresh meat happens when pigments come into contact with oxygen, and if the center's a little odd colored, that's just because it hasn't been exposed to oxygen. But if most of the meat is that same grayish brown, that's a little more questionable. If that's the case, there are two things you can do. First, sniff it. Fresh ground beef should have no smell, or a slight iron scent. His party hard ways landed him in hot water on multiple occasions. In fact, he could probably use, a few cheers, because this is the tragic real-life story of Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson's wild night in London once he landed a dream role on Cheers in 1985, Woody Harrelson quickly earned a reputation of fully enjoying life. I became a party animal. That's fine. If it's a little funky or weird smelling, though, it's starting to spoil. Pay attention to how it feels, too. You couldn't do what I did now because of all the tweeting and Facebooking. If it's starting to feel slimy, sticky, or tacky, in other words, anything but smooth and damp, get rid of it. You're picking ground beef based on color picture yourself standing in the meat section of your favorite grocery store. How do you pick a package or few of ground beef? Do you reach for the brightest one? Go for the most vibrant color? That's actually not the only thing you should be looking for. According to the American Meat Institute, many meat packers use a system that injects carbon monoxide into the packaging. That actually acts as a color stabilizer, and it keeps meat looking bright red way longer than it would hold its color without the gas. All the s asterisk asterisk t I did back then, I'd be hung from the rafters, he told GQ. Nearly two decades later, he still continued his celebratory ways. It's perfectly safe, but it does mean that if you're not looking at the expiration dates, you might just grab some ground beef that's way closer to spoiling than you might think, based on the color. 
The actor told Rolling Stone about an unforgettable night that he wishes he could forget. While filming in London in 2002, Harrelson found himself at a bar when two women approached him. Bottom line. Always check dates. Here's another little trick, straight from us to you. Pay attention to how cold the package is. According to the actor, the women asked if he wanted to take a walk on the wild side. To which Harrelson replied, I guess I do. A third woman joined in the fun, and the foursome returned to Harrelson's accommodations and enjoyed what the outlet described as whatever happened next. Unfortunately for the Rampart star, a paparazzo was able to snap a photo that soon hit the tabloids. The worst part, his then-girlfriend and future wife Laura Louie saw these photos in the press. This led to a good bit of groveling on Harrelson's part, and the couple worked past the incident. A young and rowdy Texas upbringing looking back at his childhood in Midland, Texas, Woody Harrelson admits he may have been a lot to handle. I had a lot of anger, a lot of rage, he confessed to Esquire. If it's a little warm, it may have been sitting out of refrigeration for a while, and you should absolutely give this one a miss. You don't want a package that's been sitting on a counter somewhere before being restocked, right? That's how food poisoning happens. You're buying ground beef packaged sure, packaged ground beef is convenient, and there's really nothing super wrong with it. But, if you really want to replicate your favorite gourmet burger at home, you definitely shouldn't be reaching for this stuff. Instead, go to the butcher's counter. Talk to the person on the other side. Pick out cuts of meat, and have it ground right there. Why? According to Epicurious, the cuts of meat that typically end up in ground beef made and packaged at some mysterious, out-of-sight, out-of-mind factory are less than stellar. The young boy found a way to get kicked out of his nursery school and then first grade. After an incident where, supposedly, teachers accused a young Harrelson of stealing a purse, he went around the school breaking windows with his bare fists. Harrelson's father left the family when he was only seven and this seemed to affect his mindset. I think I was also just too soft. I was so sensitive, so vulnerable, he told GQ. As a result, Harrelson vowed to toughen up and not be pushed around. But this manifested in negative ways. They're not bad, just. He admitted to having tantrums and holding onto this rage as he grew older. I used to go to bars and fight the guys I thought were bullies. Not the best. They're sort of like mystery meat hot dogs. I've got scars everywhere, he revealed to the Hollywood Reporter. But when you pick out a solid cut of meat and have your butcher grind it, you know exactly what you're getting, and, you can ask for a rougher grind that's going to give your burger more texture. Any good butcher will be able to give you some guidance, but don't worry, it's easy. Look for chuck steak, that's about 20% fat, and once that all gets ground, that's a great, basic sort of ground beef. His fighting ways continued even after becoming a famous actor. And you'll want the fat in there, that's what makes your burger juicy. Want more fat? You can definitely ask them to make adjustments, and that's the brilliant part of picking the cuts and having them grind it right there. You're not buying enough ground beef we've all been there, you're super excited about mixing up some ground beef, adding seasonings, and grilling up some burgers with a funky flavor profile. Like when he once punched a reporter and claimed he thought the photographer was a zombie. Woody Harrelson grew up with a villainous father The story of Woody Harrelson's father seems more like a movie than real life. And actually, Harrelson's brothers shared insights on their childhood on the podcast Son of a Hitman, via Entertainment Weekly. Their father, Charles Harrelson, was sentenced to two life terms for the slaying of a federal judge in San Antonio. The patriarch was a contract killer and also a big-time gambler. Prior to his 1979 arrest for the assassination of U.S. District Judge John Wood Jr., he had previously been acquitted in the death of Alan Berg, a carpet salesman, and convicted in the murder of Sam DeGelia Jr., a grain dealer. Charles eventually passed away in 2007 while serving his double life sentence. Only to have the burgers that make it to the bun look very, very tiny. In an interview with The Guardian, the only positive thing Woody cared to share about Charles was his advice to always keep an open mind. Woody seldom talks about his father, who left the family when the future actor was only seven years old. What the heck? According to the USDA, all meat shrinks. But he does remember a few things about the infamous family patriarch. He was quite a charming fellow and a gambler, Woody told The Hollywood Reporter. He made a lot of money gambling. 
It shrinks more when you're cooking at higher temperatures and for a longer time, since one of the cardinal rules of ground beef is that you need to cook it to at least 160 degrees in order to get rid of any potentially harmful bacteria, that's pretty much the definition of what you're doing with it. He cheated, but he was more of a con artist, Woody remembered. It gets smaller because you're cooking out all the fat and juices, and that's why you get the common mistake of small, dry burgers. Fortunately, there's an easy fix, buy more. According to Weight Watchers, you should assume you're going to get about 25% shrinkage in your meat. So, just buy 25% more than you think you're going to need, make bigger burgers than you think you'll eat, and everyone at the dinner table will be happy with their portion size. You're ignoring ground beef's different fat percentages not all ground beef is created equal, and those percentages on the packages are actually pretty important. Ignore them, and you're more likely to have a final, cooked product that isn't quite what you intended. Common percentages are 80 20ths, 70 30ths, and 90 tenths. The first number is a reference to the amount of lean meat in the grind, and the second is fat content. For example, Charles would invite his targets on a boat for a relaxing day of fishing. Less fat might seem like a healthier choice, but when it comes to burgers, it's not one you want to make. If you know what you're planning on making with the ground beef, you can buy accordingly. According to the kitchen, 80 20ths is what you're going to want to keep on hand for burgers, that fat content is going to help guarantee a nice, juicy burger. And then he'd say, want to play a couple hands. And before you know it, the guy's completely fleeced, Woody revealed. Mega stardom took a toll on Woody Harrelson's family life though many people dream of making it big in Hollywood, the life of a mega star does come with some downfalls. Sure, Woody Harrelson openly admits to partying hard as a younger man, and enjoying the benefits that come along with being a celebrity. But if you're making something like meatloaf, something you're going to be cooking for a longer time, you're going to want a 70 30ths mix. That higher fat content is going to help keep your meat moist throughout cooking. So, when should you use the super lean 90 tenths? That's great for things that are going to get their moisture from elsewhere, think of meatballs you're cooking with sauce, or meatballs you're going to serve in soup. But as he grew older and started a family, the same hard work that made him famous turned into a negative as well. I feel like I've probably just spent too much time running around doing these movies, he revealed to NPR. Then, you can absolutely go leaner, and, if you want to make your meatballs even better, go for a half and half mix of ground beef and ground pork. The sweetness and texture will be an absolute win. You're using the wrong conditions for browning ground beef Browning ground beef is easy, right? Just throw it in the pan and make it. Harrelson said he's proud and very psyched about these movies, but I just need, I think, to chill out and spend some time at home. It's easy to understand why he would miss life at home brown. Right. It's a little more complicated than that, and if you're browning your ground beef the same no matter what you're cooking, you might not be getting the most out of it. First, some tips via cooking light, starting with the state of your pan. You shouldn't just add your meat to the pan, then put it on the stove to bring it up to temp, and, you shouldn't be putting cold meat on the stove, either. Ideally, you want meat that's had the chance to warm up slightly, and a pan that's already hot. Now, how brown is brown enough? If you're browning your ground beef before making something like chili, it's going to cook more along the way. Harrelson and his wife Laura Louie have been married since 2008, via The Hollywood Reporter, and the couple has three daughters together. Oh, and the whole family lives in Paradise, Maui, Hawaii. Just searing the outside is fine, you'll seal in the juices, and it'll finish cooking later. During the interview with NPR in London, the actor shared his grueling schedule working in film. By the time I leave here, I will have been home one week in a year, in the past year. Dot dot dot. Brown it until it's well done, and it'll get way overcooked. But, let's say you're browning meat for sprinkling on some quick nachos. So, yeah, it's just not fair to my family, he said, adding, I'm just a little knackered from the whole process. Quite simply, he was, just ready to go home. A family relationship cut too short while his father served time for heinous crimes, Woody Harrelson grew up with the support of the strong women in his family. Bon Appetit says you're probably not browning it enough, in this case, putting it in the pan, flattening it, and letting it cook until it has crispy brown edges then flipping it will give it a delicious texture and seared flavor that's perfect if you're going to use it right out of the pan. You're ignoring your air fryer a skillet might be your go-to for browning ground beef, but did you know there's another way that some say is even better? 
According to Cook the Story, you should absolutely be using your air fryer for your ground beef. For starters, you're not going to have to stand there and watch it. This included his mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother. He fondly remembers his childhood in Texas and special bond with his great-grandmother Polly. In an interview with GQ, the White Men Can't Jump star called her a real pistol, and recalled that Polly could tell a story and everything about her was great. While Harrelson lived in New York, he briefly visited back home and luckily met with Polly. And we're all busy people. But it would unfortunately be his last time. I regret the last chance I had to see my great-grandmother when my mom said, now you be sure to stop by there on your way to the airport, and I was running late and I'm like, I'll see her next time, and I didn't get a chance to. And sadly, Harrelson never got the opportunity to record all the amazing memories Polly carried. I wish I'd written down her stories because there were some great stories and she knew all this stuff about her mom and her mom's mom and now that's all gone. Woody Harrelson burned a few bridges even with a dream career, Woody Harrelson is still upset by a few missteps along the way. Secondly, the fat drains from the meat as it cooks, and if you're trying to make small changes that lead to eating healthier, this is a brilliant one. In an interview with GQ, the actor recalled a moment he considers his biggest regret. At the time, Harrelson was in Los Angeles working alongside famous actor, director John Cassavetes on a play. Harrelson admitted, I had a full realization of how amazing this guy was, although I didn't understand in terms of his larger body of work and his influence on independent movies. The younger Harrelson, then in his mid-twenties, was in the running for a movie set to film in Rome. You're not cooking your ground beef in all that fat, and that'll give you a leaner, healthier meal. It will dry your meat out a bit, but if you're browning it for something that's going to be covered in sauce or broth anyway, that's not a big deal. It's super easy to do, too, just put your ground beef in the basket, break it up, and cook for 5 minutes at 400 degrees. Open the fryer, break your beef up again and stir, then finish it off with another 3 to 5 minutes. Done. Easy, right? You're cooking frozen ground beef we've all been there, and realized halfway through the day that we forgot to take something out of the freezer for dinner. Ground beef might seem like a great option to pull out when you get home and throw in the pan, but you're doing it a huge injustice, notes the spruce eats. Here's why. When you freeze ground beef, ice crystals form inside the meat. Throw that frozen hunk of beef in the pan, and you're going to melt the ice crystals really quickly, and they're going to drain off with the fat. They're also going to take a lot of the beef's flavor with them, and what's left is some seriously bland beef. If you thaw the meat in the fridge during the day before you cook it, those ice crystals will melt slowly and the flavor ends up getting absorbed back into the tissue. Cook from frozen, and you'll have some sadly flavorless meat. Thaw it, though, and you'll add a whole new depth to your dishes. You're thawing frozen ground beef wrong, and potentially, dangerously stop us if this sounds familiar, you need to thaw a pack of ground beef for dinner, so you pull it out of the freezer and throw it on the kitchen counter for a few hours to bring up the temperature. So, he bailed on the stage show with Cassavetes. Yay or nay? According to Southern Living, that should be a resounding, nay. While it might seem logical that the meat is still going to be sort of cold, it's not going to be anywhere near cold enough to keep potentially harmful bacteria from growing all over it. But Harrelson ended up not getting the part in Italy. Though he claims Cassavetes would have let him back in the play, Harrelson never returned. One of the worst decisions of my life, Harrelson told the mag, adding, I regret not coming back when I could have. Though Harrelson admitted that professionally, it may not have hurt his career chances, he messed up, on a personal level. Harrelson confessed, I should have stuck by that guy. He took a chance on me, and no one wants their burger with a side of food poisoning. Fortunately, there's a few ways you can safely thaw meat. If you're planning ahead, you can just pop it in the fridge and let it thaw there, but you should definitely plan on using it in a day, or two at the most. If you're in more of a hurry, you can use the defrost setting on your microwave, although it's far from ideal, for 3 to 4 minutes at a time, checking the progress regularly. Or, fill a large dish with cold water, and submerge your frozen ground beef completely. That was a real lack of integrity on my part. Trouble with the boys in blue once an unabashed partier and bad boy, Woody Harrelson unsurprisingly found himself periodically in hot water. Completely being key. 
It should take around 15 minutes for a package to thaw enough to cook with, and you're much safer than had you just left it on the countertop. You're not cooking to the proper temp if you're one that likes their burgers anything but well done, you should probably know that the USDA doesn't recommend eating burgers cooked to less than a 160 degree internal temperature. At his worst, Harrelson fought the law and the law won. If you're cooking your ground beef to anything lower than that, you're making a mistake that could get someone very, very sick. That's because ground beef is known to harbor bacteria, particularly E. coli, that multiply like crazy in what's called the danger zone, temperatures between 40 and 140 degrees. The Solo, a Star Wars story star recounted his first incident during an interview with The Hollywood Reporter. Cooking completely kills the bacteria and makes the meat safe to eat, but you have to hit that 160 degree number. So, why can you eat a steak rare and not a burger? With a steak, the bacteria is on the outside, and it's seared off when it's cooked. Police stopped a young Harrelson and his friend for jaywalking. The actor claimed he didn't have identification but the officer caught him in the lie. Realizing he must have had an ID to enter into the local bars, Harrelson claimed the officer yelled, Don't lie to me again, punk. As Harrelson recalled, after the policeman smashed him against the wall a couple of times, he pushed off and ran away. His getaway was short-lived. The inside is pretty bacteria-free. When that steak is turned into ground beef, though, the grinding process mixes the bacteria-covered outer layer into the rest of the meat, and it's exposed to bacterial growth throughout. And that rare burger isn't worth risking food poisoning, according to Healthline, E. The officer called for backup and, soon I'm just surrounded by blue, and they had me down on the ground, knee in my throat, according to Harrelson. While in the, paddy wagon, the officers stopped to arrest another man. Once the doors opened, Harrelson ran away for a second time. Coli can cause things like gastrointestinal pain and distress, vomiting, and severe diarrhea, which can last for up to a week and get very, very serious. You're draining it down the sink after you brown your ground beef, the first thing you probably do is to drain it. I'm handcuffed, and I'm wearing boots, and I'm running, he said. The chase ended, Harrelson wound up with a face full of mace, and he spent the night in jail. If you put a colander in the sink and just let it drain there, you're not alone, but you are doing something with potentially terrible consequences. According to Escalibur Plumbing, grease clogs are one of the most common problems they're called in to solve. Even though the grease from ground beef might look liquidy when it's in the pan, once you pour it out, it cools pretty quickly. As it does, it leaves residue in your pipes that builds up over time, and it'll eventually cause blockages. That's bad, and it can get worse, severe blockages might even back up into the sewer systems, and that can, in turn, block up toilets and flood basements. No one wants that. Lifehacker says that you're better off keeping an old coffee can or plastic bottle under the sink and gradually filling it. Once it's full, you can either trash it, or see if your neighborhood has a program for recycling cooking fats. Looking back, he said, and that was my first experience with the long arm of the law, and it had a big impact on me cause I really had rose-colored glasses on, in terms of, what I thought the world was. Cheers wasn't all that. Just don't back up the neighborhood sewers with it. You're buying ground beef at Walmart sure, Walmart has some great deals on food, but we learned that you shouldn't go there for the ground beef on your shopping list. Why? Comparison shoppers have found that it's surprisingly expensive, and typically sells for about $1 a pound more than Aldi. Cheerful for Woody Harrelson at age 23, Woody Harrelson was out in Los Angeles taking a break from an understudy role on Broadway. With the comfort of knowing he already had a job waiting back in New York, Harrelson auditioned for a show, Cheers. As he admitted to GQ, he knew about the popular show but never watched it. And much like his future role in White Men Can't Jump, Harrelson showed up, to read looking like he just came off a basketball court, producer Peter Casey said. Considering how much ground beef we use, that adds up. Still, if it was higher quality, we might be able to justify the cost. Unfortunately, the news on that front isn't good. This same bravado irked some of the castmates, like the universally loved star Ted Danson. Reviews of the ground beef from Walmart are less than appetizing, with reviewers on the website calling them out after finding huge chunks of fat, gristle, and mysterious rubbery pieces in their ground beef. Others have said they've found intact arteries and even bone fragments, so you might want to walk on past Walmart's meat department before you get a pack of ground beef with some nastiness that turns you off eating burgers and meatloaf for good.
so in walked Woody, who was instantly great, but off stage, it was all testosterone, Danson remembered. Apparently, all the guys on set tried to beat Harrelson at basketball, chess, and arm wrestling. But the young stud was too much to handle. Danson admitted, Woody cleaned everybody's clock and everything. But the instant sitcom fame only added to his separation from others. Harrelson told The Guardian that prior to Cheers, I'd been gregarious, someone who enjoyed the company of others. But once the show started, the pressure of people that I didn't know constantly wanting to talk to me made me recoil and become less outgoing. Harrelson confessed it even had quite a negative impact. I went through a period of arrogance and having my head up my a asterisk asterisk. Woody Harrelson struggled in New York according to The Guardian. Woody Harrelson pursued his dream of performance by studying English and theater at Hanover College in Indiana. Once he graduated, a close friend was accepted into the prestigious Juilliard School. The buddy asked Harrelson to relocate with him to New York, and the hopeful actor accepted. Harrelson told The Hollywood Reporter about his plan upon arrival, I'll just try to get into some summer stock, which I didn't. And like many young talents who moved to the Big Apple for a chance at fame, he continued to find himself without work. You go to a thing, it's like a cattle call. Zero offers, he remembered. As Harrelson continued, unsuccessfully, to search for roles in the theater, he just about gave up. I figured I'd try to segue into some regional theater, just work my way into production, Harrelson said. Of course, he landed the aforementioned understudy spot on Broadway just before hitting the jackpot with a starring role on Cheers. But he confessed that before this, times were difficult. I was anonymous and poor before that show, he told The Hollywood Reporter. A terrifying experience ruined Woody Harrelson's big celebration once Woody Harrelson landed the part of Woody on Cheers, he knew it was cause for celebration. The show was already wildly popular and this was Harrelson's first major gig. As a reward to himself, Harrelson purchased a Porsche. All that excitement came crashing down in one night when a stranger robbed Harrelson as the actor approached his car in a Hollywood parking garage. A guy came up and robbed me, Harrelson revealed to the Hollywood reporter, adding, put a gun to my head. That was really an uncomfortable night. According to the actor, the robber stole Harrelson's money, and he wanted the new car as well. As Harrelson searched for the keys, he claimed the assailant said he was going to count to five and needed the keys before he got there. Harrelson vividly remembered hearing the count get to four and thought, I'm going to die now. So, how did he get out of it? At the same moment, someone else entered the garage, and scared the man away, according to THR. Woody Harrelson faced intense backlash early in his career, things seemed to be almost perfect for Woody Harrelson. After landing a successful role on Cheers, he exploded in popularity with his role in White Men Can't Jump alongside the often disliked Wesley Snipes. Afterwards, he starred in Oliver Stone's Natural Born Killers. Not only did the film have a famous director, a young Quentin Tarantino wrote the original script, the Los Angeles Times reported. The movie was highly controversial because of its subject matter and violent themes. In an interview for Fade In, Harrelson said he was negatively affected by all criticism surrounding the film. It was terrible, he confessed. A few years after Natural Born Killers, Harrelson portrayed publisher Larry Flint, which earned him a Best Actor nomination at the Academy Awards. He remembered being so invested emotionally. Everyone worked so hard on it. But once again, Harrelson was caught up in controversy about the film. He specifically referred to famed feminist Gloria Steinem's campaign to discourage moviegoers. So for Gloria Steinem to go around the country and tell women to make sure they don't see it, and to make sure their husbands don't see it, that hurt, Harrelson confessed. He told The Hollywood Reporter, I wanted to take some time off after that. I needed to back away from this job. More trouble in London for Woody Harrelson in his early 20s, Woody Harrelson considered a different career than acting. I was still entertaining the notion of becoming a cop, either a cop or FBI or Secret Service, he told The Hollywood Reporter. But after an incident that landed him in jail for a night, he said, I stopped wanting to be a cop, for sure. And after he became a successful actor, Harrelson once again found himself tied up with the law. According to The Guardian, police arrested Harrelson in 2002, following a bizarre taxi chase through the streets of London. Apparently, while Harrelson took a cab from a nightclub back to his hotel, the actor broke an ashtray and door lock in the vehicle. He had suddenly gone completely bonkers, the taxi driver said.
The article continued that Harrelson reportedly jumped out of the cab following the incident and swiftly hailed another before speeding off with the first driver in hot pursuit. The police trapped his getaway car and yet, Harrelson still had more fight in him. The actor is reported to have fled on foot before eventually being stopped, the article said. Harrelson spent the night in a London jail. The actor later explained his side of the story to the Telegraph but conceded, I'm not excusing my behavior. I was a freaking idiot. 